What's good, YouTube? This is Box Wave, and we are back with another fight breakdown. This weekend on Showtime, 9 p.m. Eastern, we have Stephen Fulton fighting Danny Roman, defending his WBC and WBO Super Bantamweight titles at 122. The fight is going to be this weekend, and I will be doing live commentary for this fight card, as well as the George Cambosos Devin Haney fight, which is going to be on ESPN. Be sure to check my breakdown down, uh, my breakdown out for that fight. I did that breakdown last week. All right, so check that fight out, and um, yeah, check me out Saturday. I'll be here on Saturday. All right, um, so this is a very good fight. You know, Stephen Fulton is one of those guys. He had an incredible 2021. Having two big wins at the division, Angel Leo, who's undefeated, good pressure fighter against Brandon Figueroa, who was undefeated and a champion, um, who's another even bigger, better pressure fighter. All right. Um, good fight here. Danny Roma has been in the division. He's a vet. He's been around for a long time, a former unified champion himself. And... Um, this is a good fight, man. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, this is a top tier fight for the division. You know what I'm saying? Um, Stephen Fulton, 27 years old, 20 wins, zero losses, eight KOs. All right. Um, he's about five, six and a half, five, seven in height. Uh, and he's about 70 inch reach. We got Danny Roma, who's about five, five and a half with a 67, 68 reach. All right, um, he's 32 years old, and he's uh, 29 wins, three losses, one draw, and about 10 KOs. So neither one of these guys are huge punchers, okay? Everybody knows them. Everybody that's familiar with them knows them and respects them for their boxing skills. But these are two really good boxers that are versatile, could mix it up any kind of way, you know, like to fight on the outside, good counter punchers, but can mix it up and bang at the same time. They have a history, a long history of getting into good wars. And um, it should make for a good fight. You know, I don't think this is going to be an easy fight for either one of them. Stephen Fulton, though, coming over the year that he had against the opposition that he fought, you know, does have the edge as far as just the consistency and how he looked in those fights. Um, basically fighting those two guys in the way that they like to fight. You know what I'm saying? He fought Leo's fight. He fought Figueroa's fight. And Stephen Fulton, he definitely shined against those two when there was space between them. Like when he used the ring, Fulton clearly was outboxing the two. These guys had to fight on the inside, which... Fulton was able to hold his own and at times be superior even on the inside uh, against the both of them. You know what I'm saying? And um, part of that is, you know, when I was watching, I was doing some film study this morning and this past week on Fulton. And Fulton is good at smothering his, his opponent's punches. He knows how to lean in and make sure that when you connect... You're not really getting that full impact. He knows how to nullify his opponent's punches and knows how to create space to go on the attack when he wants to. He's very good at that. And um, that's just one part of his game. The main part of his game is him using the ring, using his hand speed, setting up shots with the jab, counter punching, you know, working a body, attacking a body. You know, slipping shots and countering, like, and moving well. You know, he knows how to get in and out of danger well. He knows distance very, very well. So this is a well-rounded fighter, and he's a very athletic, sharp, great reflexes type of fighter. You know what I'm saying? So he's tough. He's going to be tough. And you have Danny Roman, who is a very good boxer himself, very good uh, counter puncher, uh, good at attacking a body as well i don't think he has the inside game that fulton has proven to have in his last couple fights i don't think danny has that i think danny likes to box and stay on the perimeter of the ring and, and move and and encounter himself right try to catch you it's coming in you saw that in the espinosa fight one of his most recent fights i know he lost to abdulayev uh and lost that unification match but um in that fight 
you know, Abdullah MJ is a, a, a southpaw, you know, so I really don't want to dig too much in that fight. I didn't really want to dig too much in the Payano fight, which is also a recent fight for Roman because he's a southpaw as well. And both of these fighters here for this fight are orthodox fighters, all right? Um, but with Danny Roman, what I'm expecting for him really is I'm expecting him to find a way to take advantage of the fact that Roman usually, I mean, not Roman, uh, Fulton, he usually doesn't stick to the game plan. Like, he likes to slug it out a little bit. He's a very good boxer, but he likes to slug it out. And he has good defense. Again, he has solid defense, but he does get hit a lot. You know, I see him get caught with a lot of jabs coming in. I see him walk right into some overhand rights. You could, If you time him right, you can catch him. And I'm expecting Danny Roman to try to capitalize off that. Hopefully, he can get, um, he's a guy that could fight on the back foot really well. So, I figure, you know, I was looking at angles of where Danny, because I, I think overall, I think Fulton has the better ability. I think he could just, I think he just do more. So, I was looking at ways where Roman can, you know, have some advantages here over Fulton. Um, I don't think Roman is that as fast, but I do think he has good timing. And I think if he fights on his back foot and try to invite Fulton into his world and set those traps, slip some shots, counter their foot Fulton's body, you know, that's one thing he needs to do is go to Fulton body and uh, Fulton body and, uh, and 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 set up those right hands as he's coming in because Fulton's gonna come in. Even though I think this fight is gonna start out. Where the both of these fighters are going to be in the center of the ring, you know, it's going to be a chess match. You know, these guys are going to be using their jab and 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 using distance and and and, and changing levels and probing, and they they're going to be it's going to be a chess match. I still think Fulton has the edge because just because of his hand speed, um, I just think he's just. I think the hand speed is really going to play a different role. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's just going to be popping those shots and getting out of danger. You know, I think uh, Roman is going to be doing well with some counters. But I think Fulton probably might have the slight edge on the outside. But I think at some point Fulton is going to start walking down and trying to get on the inside and trying to bully Roman against the ropes. And then, you know, Roman is going to have some sets because he knows how to spin around his opponents and, and step around them and, 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 get, and get himself off the ropes, like, you know. But at the same time, I feel like when the fight goes into the later rounds and Roman is starting to gas out and tire a little bit, I think that's when Fulton is going to start fighting that fight like he did against Leo, like he did against uh, Figueroa, all right? And that's where he's going to have the, the clear advantages on the later rounds because um, he's just going to be outworking Roman on this. And I just think he's much better on, than Roman on the inside, you know? Roman can hold his own. Yes, he can bang. He could trade. He's pretty durable as well. But I think Fulton... Fulton just brings so much more. And I know Fulton, Fulton, Fulton's already faced adversity. He's been down. He's been hurt. Um, and he had those two, two tough wars last year. And even though he got hit a lot, um, he was able to still work and do the better work. Um, Figueroa, a lot of people feel that he lost a Figueroa fight. I believe I covered that fight live. I thought it was a very, very close fight. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a fight. In the future that they're probably going to run back. Maybe not at 122. Because I believe on phone's probably just gunning for Undisputed. He probably wants MJ sooner than later. Um, But I think at some point he is interested in moving up to 126. And Brandon being that he's his size. I expect him to be at 126. And these guys are probably going to run it back at some point at 126. So it was a very close fight. Again, it's based on what you like. Figueroa had more activity. I think Fulton was... His punches were cleaner, you know what I'm saying? And they was more the eye-catching punches, in my opinion, whereas Figueroa at times was just outworking them. And again, I think part of the reason is why that fight was as close as it was or the Leo fight was as competitive is because Fulton gets trapped into fighting his opponent's fights. And even though he does well, I think the fights would be a lot clearer if he were to stick to boxing on the outside and maybe ambushes in his opponents, maybe picking different times of the fight of working on the inside instead of just laying on, you know, with his back against the ropes and just proving to his opponent that he can, he's comfortable there. We know you're capable of it, but if it comes to winning rounds clearly, 
you kind of want to just stick to what you're better, what you're superior at doing. And I think Danny Roman, who's a very good boxer, again, very good boxer. This is a very good fight. Um, I think this is a fight that Stephen Fulton is going to win pretty clear. It's going to be competitive, but it's going to be a unanimous decision, in my opinion. Fulton is going to defend his titles unless something crazy happens, like a headbutt or an injury or something like that. Uh, I think Fulton's going to win this one again. Fulton's going to catch one, and I wouldn't be surprised if he caught, got hurt, or caught, you know, got caught with a shot that might drop him with a flash knockdown or something like that. But again, Fulton too tough, um, too cool, cool boy Steph. He's too cool, uh, too slick, too quick. I just think that he's superior to Danny Roma, and I think he's going to win this one pretty clearly all right so again make sure you guys check in check in uh saturday night i will be here probably around 8 p.m eastern maybe a little earlier i haven't figured it out yet uh i'll let you guys know um but i will be doing live commentary for this fight as well as george Campbell's and devin haney all right so um, make sure you subscribe again. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll be alerted whenever I drop new content. And share the video, like the video, and I'm out of here. Peace.